This is the example on slide 101 of our chapter 14 PowerPoint. Here we're looking at um, several combinations of acids and salts to determine which combination would make a buffer. So a buffer by formal definition is something that resists change in pH. If you add acid to a buffer, it might change a little, but pH is going to remain relatively close to what it started at. Or if you add base to a buffer, it might change a little, but pH is going to re relatively remain pretty steady. So the way that you make a buffer is by combining a weak acid and its conjugate base salt. So basically the anions or the negative ions of each component um, have to be the same, otherwise it's not going to be a buffer. It also has to be a weak acid. So um, if you've been reading along, and sorry this is a little bit of a throwback, but on slide 40 we have a table consisting of the strong acids and weak acids. Um, so we're going to use that, or I'm going to use that, to consult to make sure that I um, am only picking weak acids and their conjugate base salts. So for A, let's look at the first component, HCl. So if we look at our chart, HCl is a strong acid. So right off the bat, this is a no-go. This would not make a buffer. So we don't even have to look at the second component. The fact that HCl is a strong acid means it's not going to be a buffer. For B, let's look at H2CO3, carbonic acid. So carbonic acid is in our weak acid category. Um, and if we look at the chart next to carbonic acid, its um, conjugate base is HCO3 minus. So this is a weak acid, I'm going to put WA, and this component of the salt um, is its conjugate base. So therefore, yes, that would make a buffer. It's got a weak acid and a conjugate base salt. Salt meaning that it's positive and negative ion paired together. It's an ionic compound. All right, for C, so I can look at the first component, H3PO4. It is a weak acid, but if we look at the second component, these two have nothing to do with each other. They don't have any of the same components. Therefore, this guy, not a buffer. They're not related to one another. One's a weak acid, the other is a salt, but it's not the conjugate base salt, so therefore that would not make a buffer. And then for the last one, this CH3COO, um, that's just another way to write the acetate ion. You might have also seen this written as C2H3O2. That's acetate. So this is just another way to write it. So the first guy, um, I don't know how they have it written in your book. They have it written slightly differently. Um, if you look at the one, two, three, four, fifth weak acid down, that is acetic acid. So it's written HC2H3O2. It's the same exact thing as we have written here. This one's just written out to show its structure. So this is a weak acid. So we got that checked off. And the second component, oops, this CH3COO, that shouldn't be OH, that should just be O, like that. CH3COO, yeah, that translates to C2H3O2 minus. And if we look at our acid chart, 
that is the conjugate base of acetic acid. So therefore this guy, yes, it makes a buffer. So there you have it. Buffer has to have the components of weak acid and its conjugate base salt.